This is Ken Double, and it's time for a little history quiz. Where did you get your inspiration and motivation to play the theater organ? How many of you took organ lessons at your local music store? How many of you had the opportunity to hear many of the original great theater organists in concert, or had the experience of attending their workshops and master classes? How many of today's professional theater organists had those opportunities? If you answered most of them, you're correct. And more? Where does today's youth find those same opportunities? Enter the ATOS Summer Youth Camp Program. The summer youth camps are expressly designed to build on the best traditions of theater organ performance and to apply those concepts to perform music that spans from the theater organ's golden era to contemporary music relating to their generation. Not only do the campers learn technical and musical skills, but they develop a valuable network of friends who share the enthusiasm of the theater organ, just as my contemporaries and I did. Notice the expressions on the faces of these kids. They're having a great time learning, interacting, performing, and preparing to take this all-American musical instrument into the future for new audiences to enjoy. Our first summer youth camp in 2007 was centrally located in Chicago. The camp offered students the opportunity to work with seasoned professionals in the theater organ world. When ATOS approached Jonas Nordwall to oversee and create the educational syllabus, his response was direct. Said Jonas, I'm glad to do it if we train young organists about the past, the present, and most importantly, the future. Jonas, with the help of Jelani Eddington and Donna Parker, conducted our first two years of the ATOS Summer Youth Camp. In addition to creating and presenting the teaching materials for our camps, they were instrumental in obtaining the scholarship funds needed to send qualified students to these camps. Many chapters and individuals made generous contributions, which enabled many students to attend who otherwise would not have had the financial capability to do so. Those donations and that support were the life's blood to the success of our camp program, and we are indebted to those donors. In addition, we have the support of Paul and Linda Vandermolen, Jasper and Marion Sanfilippo, Jim and Sherry Krugon, Lee Maloney of Steinway, Chicago, Jato and Cato, our local chapters, who graciously made their residences and their facilities available at no charge to ATOS. This year's camp moves to Phoenix, Arizona, beginning July 27th, where the musical experiences include the Adrian Phillips Residence, Organ Stop Pizza, the Orpheum Theater, and Phoenix College. Martin Ellis is this year's primary instructor, and the Valley of the Sun chapter will be our co-host. There is always room for an interested youth to participate in the camp program. If you know of someone between 10 and 25 years of age who would like to attend, contact Donna Parker or Jelani Eddington. While ATOS has the camp program well established and working successfully in teaching our youth, we still need your financial support. If you are able, please consider making a contribution to the ATOS Summer Youth Camp Program. Donations of any amount are appreciated, and of course, they are tax deductible. And for those of you whose physical youth may have passed, but you still have that youthful enthusiasm for theater organ, the 2009 four-day adult getaway is for you. Based at the Berkeley Community Theater with NorCal Chapter's Giant Wurlitzer in Berkeley, California, the adult getaway begins on July 20th. Jonas Nordwall is the primary instructor, assisted by John Ferguson and Kevin King. There will be a San Francisco Bay Area organ crawl and a post-event wine tasting trip this session is for 21 and over only. It's the adult getaway. Again, contact Donna Parker or Jelani Eddington for information or check the ATOS website for sign-up details. The most important and urgent goal for ATOS is perpetuating and presenting the theater organ to new audiences. We must broaden our listener and support base for the theater organ and its musical traditions to thrive. One of the best ways to accomplish that goal is to train the next generation of theater organists. They are, indeed, our future. <laughs>